Ten four. Okay. Shut the front door and raise a rent. Technical analysis meets technical expertise, and technical expertise always wins. Okay, folks, uh, this is Billy Ray Valentine coming from you from the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The first chart I posted today was for the S&P 500, making a very, very powerful move today, getting up into the little above the 61% retracement up there at uh, 4428. The key today is where it's going to close. Uh, we have a lot of people looking at both sides of the market as they should. I do want to mention a couple of little things here today, and that's about the state of the commodity markets, folks. We have some of these that are in really dire straits. And I want to bring one to your attention because David White asked me to bring it up, and that is the copper market, which we've been uh, bearish on for quite some time. You'll see that we made that Gartley up there uh, at the 462 level. Uh, we went all the way down to uh, 397, 396 last night. We rallied about 14 cents. That completed the big ABCD that measured to $4. So we should get a rally maybe up as high as uh, 420, which would be a 382 retracement. But boys and girls, if you're in futures, you should really look at what's going on to all the commodities. Do you know what? Because they do not look very good, given the fact that all we've heard about it is all these supply problems and everything else that's going on. Some of these are just not looking very good. They, they really are not. Let, let's take one, for example, that all of us use. It's the largest single crop that we have. In the United States, it's got the most bullish uh, fundamentals that we've had in corn in the last 10 years. And you'll see this happens to be the Christmas corn. Yes, it, Marshall is saying maybe it could be deflation. Well, all I know is that corn topped back on May the 7th, and we've made lower tops ever since then. So it's been in a downtrend. You'll notice that we just completed a Gartley here. One second, please. We just completed a Gartley here, you know, back on August the 12th with that really bullish report. And what have we done? We've dropped to almost 70. Well, we've actually dropped 70 cents a bushel. Now, maybe it is stagflation. I don't know. But all I know is that you're seeing it in just about everything that we look at. You can you can see it in, in just about, well, you can see it in just about everything we're looking at. Okay, let's take another one. They told us the, the wonderful situation that was going on in the crude oil market, how crude oil was going to go to $80 a barrel or $89 a barrel, as Goldman Sachs told us. But look at the ABCD structure here since July when we had the three drive to a top pattern up there at 77. It's a, a It was a beautiful three drive, perfect ABC measurements and everything like that. And now you see we have we broken below uh, $62 today. Uh, we got down to that uh, 1.27 expansion, just a little below the $62 level. We're very, very oversold. We're down eight days. So we should be getting ready to see a rally. But boys and girls, you should really do yourself a favor and go ahead and look at other commodities. Take a look at the 24-7 newsletter if you get it, and you'll be able to see that many of these things have been in downtrends for quite some time. We highlighted coffee this week. Do you remember the coffee freeze that we had at $2.20 a pound? The market broke down to $1.70 and rallied 10 days to the 382 retracement to 190, and now it's trading below 180. It's telling you that that's what you're looking at. Uh, we're looking, uh, Jimmy's asking a question here. I mentioned the port, the importance of the $23 silver. Um, this is a, the $23 is a very important level uh, in silver, and it did break it, and then it recovered quickly. We'll look at silver here in just a moment. Right after the break, Jimmy, I'll put it up. I haven't actually. Uh, I was so tired from the thing yesterday. I mean, I had such a great time for five hours. I mean, we had a really good trading day. Uh, we started out with a $300 loss in natural gas that right on the low tick, and it immediately rallied almost $1,800. Uh, we had other trades. We had a couple of break-even trades that would have made a lot of money. But like I said, I was trading defensively. But we ended up making a little over $1,000 on the day, which was pretty good. 
and we had uh, one loss, uh, two, two, three break even, and two profits, and uh, we had a lot of fun. It was fun. Thank you, Marshall, for your thing on the on the crude oil. The crude oil, folks. I had an order setting in two ticks from the low of the day, and I changed it to three ticks, and it went down and missed my fill, and immediately rallied fifteen hundred dollars. And uh, I, I should have really poked some fun at myself on that one, but uh, that was at least we were seeing how the numbers worked. And the, you know, the, from my point of view, the best part of the class actually was when I see people like Marshall and Billy and and Bill, Mr. Bill, and people kicking in uh, about, you know, what they were doing and what patterns to look at, and they were seeing the same things that I was trying to teach. And then when you pick it up, I mean, pickle, people picked it up really quick. The, the new people that were in there must have been really, really happy because I got more emails about that than I did any of them. And uh, so it made me feel really good. They said they really enjoyed seeing, you know, combat action. And that's what we were, we were looking at smaller turns, but they were good. We'll take a look at that silver for you, Jimmy, when we come right back. 877-927-6648. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618.
Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the hourly silver, and as you can see here, we did go down below 23. Uh, Jimmy, I, I stand corrected. I meant $22, and the reason why, that's the that's the low. 22.10 is the low on the weekly. You know, that's the big, big pattern that we've been watching for quite some time. We bought it down there. It had a good rally. We got out of it 23.60, uh, only because it was acting so poorly related to the gold. And we're standing aside right now, waiting to see uh, what the next step is going to be. But uh, it did get down there, and it came back very quickly. We went down to what 80, uh, I think 83. We rallied 35 cents, and 35 cents in silver is you know 1,500 dollars. So that is a, a very substantial move. I want to cover. I've been talking, you know, about the possibility of a correction in the stock market for several weeks now. We've had guests on that have talked about it. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. We're having this big rally today. Uh, we've been down most of the week, but it looks like we're going to close the week on a Friday on an up move unless we uh, roll over here uh, the last few hours. And if we do, and if we close below the lows we made two days ago, uh, just get ready on Monday because it's going to get pretty nasty. We're seeing one market that we've been following for a very, very long time because we have uh, friends and relatives and students and everybody over there, and that is in the Hong Kong market. You'll notice here the low that we made back on uh, the 27th of July. We had that beautiful 61% and 78% retracements. You can see by the dark lines that we had there that said that we're probably going to get a rally. We had double ABCD patterns there. And all we did over the next two weeks was rally right up to a 382 retracement. And if you bother to do the work like many of our friends over in Hong Kong did, they can see that the rally that we had from that two weeks was equal to the rally, the same number of points that took one year to form from February, well, nine months from February of one year into uh, uh, August of the next year. It rallied uh, well over 200 and some Hang Seng point, 2,000 points, and then broke down. Now, if you look at the ABCD structure on this, this tells us that we're getting ready for a 10% move down in the Hong Kong market. And we're hearing all kinds of news about how China is clamping down. And if you believe any of that, you know, I think you should listen at your own risk because the stuff that we hear in the news in everywhere is just absolutely amazing. When I look at the, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be political here, but when I see the news and everything that I see on the news, and I don't watch much of it, I watch maybe 20 minutes a day just to see, you know, if anybody famous has died or something like that. But all I see is the barren structure of uh, Afghanistan and all the people yelling and screaming and falling off of airplanes. It's just file footage over and over again. And then you hear reports of people being massacred in the streets and stuff like that. Uh, folks, be, just be real careful what you listen to and what you hear, because uh, I believe nowadays that things are structured to try to con convince us other than the way things are. Whether that's with COVID or not, I'm not sure. But here in the United States, we're hearing a lot about COVID, night COVID variant, what it is. But in, in the UK, it is really, really rampant. And they have 80% vaccinations. And so I just be careful. Which, watch the charts. That's basically it. Follow the money, and that'll give you a pretty good idea. Now, just to give you an idea of follow the money, uh, a long time ago in one of the shows, uh, I'm going to bring this up because this happened a long time ago. We were talking about Alibaba. That's Jack Ma's. Uh, he's the Elon Musk of China. Uh, well, I don't think he's like Elon Musk, but he's considered the Elon Musk. You can see the three drive to a top pattern we had in October of uh, last year. That's gave us a price objective of 172. We're now trading at 161. As you can see, the market has been in a very, very strong downtrend for a very, very long time. And they've been pitching us nothing but bullish news in this. They finally capitulated yesterday and today on Bloomberg saying that maybe the pundits were wrong and maybe it's not as bullish as it sounded. Now, if we take a look at this on the long-term weekly chart, you're going to be able to see that it was actually, you know, telegraphing that that's where it wanted to go, you know, way back, uh, you know, in early last year. In January of last year, it was saying that ABCD pattern, we have a almost a perfect 61% retracement, and now we're down below the 78. And so who knows where it's going to stop in here. So that's why... I'm a technician, folks, because I don't believe anything that I hear, uh, hardly anything that I read, but those are just a few of the things. I'm seeing so many things in the commodity markets. I mean, just look one after another, folks. It's not just the, it's not just the corn. 
Yeah, take take a look at this one here. This is soybeans. I mean, we're in the middle of the time when soybeans are they should be popping because of the of the of the weather and everything. But look at it. We're breaking down below the lows that we had in July. And the lower, look, you can see again, lower lows. And all we've been hearing is that this wonderful crop stuff. And we have these really bullish crop reports. And what happens here? We had one just the other day, four days ago. The market rallied dollar a bushel. Boom. Now we're down below those levels. So somebody is in there selling. Who it is? I'm not sure. I'm just bringing it to your attention to be, to be aware of it. Because maybe the inflation scenario that they're trying to lay, uh, you know, feed us with is maybe uh, – a little bit of cannon fodder, and you don't want to get involved with it. So do the work yourself. You know, practice doing these things, and you'll be fine. I was hoping to have Tim Bost as our guest today, but he's getting ready for his big uh, GAN th uh, thing and uh, his presentation. So Tim's going to join us on Monday. He has just been absolutely really good. We've had, you know, four guests on now that have been warning us about the possibility there's something not right in the stock market. We had Stan Harley on this week, Jeff Huge. Um, and also Tim Bost telling us that, uh, you know, things are not really the way that they look. And we've always mentioned, I'm going to bring this up because this is an important thing, because when you see more stocks declining than advancing, well, the indexes are going up. Remember, the indexes are only a few. In the NASDAQ, you're talking about 20 stocks. Okay, in the S&P, you're talking, uh, S&P 500, you're talking about 50 stocks. In the Dow Jones, you're talking about 10 now, the Russell has been weak, and they're having a pretty good rally today. It's been over oversold, so we're due to see something like that. But pay very close attention here because we could be starting to roll over, and we want to be able to do that. Now, one of the things that we talked about in the show yesterday that Marshall, Mr. MR, was kind enough to forward to us, this is from the Elliott Wave folks. And basically what uh, the Elliott Wave people are talking about here as August being the trend killer. In other words, the period from July 8th to December 3rd has killed eight of the stock market's longest and most dramatic trends in the past century. August 24th, 1921 was a major bottom. September 3rd, that was the all-time high that stood for 37 years. July 8th was the bottom. This is what we call the Basil Chapman bottom. For five years, or more than that, for 15 years, I thought it was July 5th, and finally, uh, Basil convinced me it was July 8th. Uh, August 12th, I've talked about that before. I thought it was August 9th. I think that was the Dow bottom, but the S&P bottomed on the 9th that day, I believe. Uh, August 25th was harmonic convergence. That was before the crash of the Dow Jones. Uh, August 25th, 1999, uh, 22 years later, it was the all-time high in the Dow-Gold relationship. September 1st, 2000 was a major top in the New York Stock Exchange composite. And then on July the 19th, 2007 was a major top in the Dow Jones uh, also. So those are just a few of the things. Uh, we just use that as historical. That's it. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. 
Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on Market Days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the S&P uh, showing the ABCD structure there at 44 uh, 37, the 61% retracement was 44.28. Uh, you can see here we had this really powerful uh, move this morning, uh, starting very, very early in the morning at around 2 in the morning New York time. The NASDAQ pulled down to a 50% retracement, and I've just posted that in there. So you can see here that it gives a uh, indication here that we could actually rally 80 more points in the NASDAQ, possibly because we are already above the 78% level. And uh, in fact, we are, I think we're above the 786 of the whole move, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we're right there right now. We're sitting right at the 78% level at 15,074. We're trading 15,055. So that's pretty interesting. But the main thing, let's just do these together because I think it's uh, something uh, to take a look at. But this market should do this, folks. It's been one of, the, it has been the most powerful bull market in the history of the world so well our world anyway so that's the main thing but the thing that you've got to remember here th this is extremely important i'm going to bring this chart up and we, we talked about this uh, on the uh, live trading thing yesterday but the fact is uh, this is the the real key here is to take a look at this the low that we made here uh yesterday uh, in the nasdaq uh, you know back on the 19th we hit the exact this was i happened to send this out I remember it was one. It was one thirteen in the morning my time, and the at the, the Nasdaq was trading at uh, fourteen seven forty, and it hit fourteen seven, fourteen fifteen, uh, fourteen one four seven one five. That was the exact sixty one percent retracement, and I said this looks like it's going to start a rally because we stopped, and at that time the S and P was down exactly one standard deviation from the high, and also the Russell was down three standard deviations from the high. So that's why it was so very, very important. And now you see it, just looking at this chart, you know, a third grader could draw the lines in and see the ABCD pattern that I just posted in there for the NASDAQ. Now, we're, we're, if we should go below 14,720, now that's 200, what, one, two, three, that's almost, that is 300 points. That's 300 points that the NASDAQ would reverse today. The chances of that happening are slightly less than the James brothers coming back and start robbing banks because that would mean something uh, just extremely, extremely bearish. I do not expect that to happen. That doesn't mean it's not going to. And it also could go up and make new highs. 
you know, we could easily do that because, you know, we, we see something happening, but that doesn't mean that it's going to happen. And I, I want to reiterate that because, you know, these patterns do fail. And we've seen it fail in Microsoft. We've seen it fail in some of the others. And that's the main thing. But the one that is uh, really interesting here is uh, get this up here for the if you want to look for value. This is the Russell. We'll get it up here to let you take a look at it. The Russell has been in this uh, trade. Yeah, <laughs> Terry's saying that uh, Stan Harley was right for one day. Hey, one day's better than no days, Terry. Anyway, you can see here since March, we've been down to that 2100 level one, two, three, four, five, six times. Anything below 2080, if you look at the red mark, anything below 2080 would tell us that we are really getting ready to break hard in the Russell. We've already broken hard. You can see the 61% retracement we made on August the 7th had lower tops all the way through here. And when you see something like this happening with the big reversal today, that is usually related to people that are short covering into the uh, the weekend, but not necessarily so. Maybe this is a, a significant bottom that we have to pay uh, very, very close attention to. But that's the the main thing to remind ourselves that that's what we're looking at when we watch these things. So I'm just giving you some heads up on it. We'll take a quick look here at the uh, I want to do it. Let's do the hourly here of the uh, Dow of the Dow Jones. You'll see it's a totally different picture. And it is uh, decidedly more bearish than the others. You'll get it up here. You'll see that we just made the 61% retracement here in the Dow Jones. And uh, that's what we were looking at yesterday. Uh, we, we had some really nice trades uh, early in the morning, and it, it turned out to be pretty good. We, we bought that. We sold that first rally that was worth about, about 200 points. And then we sold it again twice at break and put our stops at break even each one of them had a profit of about 500 to 750 dollars and me being the little nitpicker that i am i put the stop at break even and then they rolled over several people emailed me and said gee i'm not going to put my stop 10 points on the dow jones because i just didn't want to you know see any losses because you know folks paid good money to have some fun and i wanted to make sure they did make some money but they all worked pretty well you see they did break pretty good and several people mentioned, you know, that that was really why were, why was I trading uh, so defensively? There was two reasons. Uh, one is when I start the day with a loss like I did with the the, the, the uh, natural gas, we started with the $300 loss right off the bat. I mean, it looked like it was going to work and then boom, down it went. We got stopped out and the market rallied uh, well over $1,500. And then I missed a trade in gold, just a perfect ABCD. And I made a decision that I thought it would go a little bit higher. And that decision was wrong. I should have followed the ABCD pattern. That was worth $1,700. And then we did one more in crude oil where I changed the order from uh, 62.47 to uh, 62.39. Um, uh, and the low was 62.41. And then it rallied $1,500. So those are little mistakes that I make. But we make those all the time, especially when you're in the heat of battle like we were yesterday for five hours, but uh, that's all That's all part of it. At least what we were doing was matching up the patterns with the geometry and showing the folks to do it. But my, my real pleasure, folks, actually was the people that were in there. They actually, some of them could be take, giving the course. I, I actually believe that because they were, you know, showing uh, Gartley's and butterflies and one, three, five patterns and things that were happening that we weren't watching. And then we would look at some of them. I didn't necessarily trade them, but they were seeing them, you know, spot on. And that makes me feel pretty good that people have actually latched on to some of this and realize that it's not just uh, mumbo jumbo, that it actually does work. It don't work every time, but nothing else does either, boys and girls. You got to remember that. That's the real key. Now, let's take a quick look here at Mr. Appel, Apple, because that's been uh, in the news forever. Most widely traded stock in the world, still acting relatively bullish. Let's get this hourly chart up. We'll, we'll take a quick look at it here, and you'll see here where we are. I'm going to take out the all the little swings that are in here because it will literally drive you absolutely to the wall. I want to get out. Here, just let me show you what I'm going to do so you'll notice ahead of time. Here is what I have to take out. Let's get up here and take a look at it here. Uh, yes, yeah, Jimmy, 44.37 is the D point of the S&P. You're absolutely correct. Here is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take out all the Pesaveno pattern stuff because there's too many lines in there. I see what they're doing, but you don't need to see those. See, what I want you to see is what we're looking at right now in the Apple, taking those out. 
you can see it very clearly how we had a high up there that was that ABCD up at 151. We, we suggested with that ABC that was right there at 151, that was probably going to be a high. It dropped from 151 down to the 78% level 144 yesterday. And today, what are we doing? We're rallying up to the 61% retracement. And that comes in at uh, uh, 148. We're trading at 147.50 uh, right now. So that's what we're, we're paying attention to in Apple. We actually didn't do any stocks yesterday. We looked at a few like uh, uh, some of these other stocks. That, we'll take a little break. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to take a moment here and help Terry on the Pesavento patterns thing in Ensign. What I've done is I put up the Apple chart and I put in the Pesavento patterns. And then what I did was I clicked on the properties bar so that Terry will take a look at it. Now, you'll see the properties bar. That's the gray insert inside the chart. Look on the top left. 
You see where it says minimum size and minimum bars? What you want to do is go down to your minimum bars where it says 14 and just start clicking that up or down and it'll start taking those out. It'll take the little ones out to get to the larger ones that you want to see. And that way you're just looking at the big swings, not all these little tiny swings that it'll put in there because they go to the to the second decimal place and we certainly don't even need that for trading. So that's how you do it. Uh, Terry, it's very simple. They've got a good video on it, but it's really quite easy to do if you want to do it that way. Really very simple. Just go to the property bar, look at that minimum bars, change the minimum bars, and that'll get you to uh, where you want to be. It's uh, got a lot of stuff in that program, but you don't need 90% of it. So I hope that helps, and it should be able to give you an idea of where some of this stuff is going. Now, I did post a chart of Netflix. You'll see we had a huge move in Netflix yesterday. Uh, we almost attempted the uh, the high here that we had, you know, way back in uh, in July. Uh, we're very close to it. Uh, that high was about 158. We're 146 or in change today. Getting above that, it would be quite bearish. Some of the others are not uh, looking nearly as bullish. If you remember, we've been talking about there is something wrong with Mr. Bezos. He better get back to work because this stock is starting to look really, I hope that helped, Terry. Uh, anyway, you'll be able to see here that uh, this thing went, you, you see the low that we made here, then we had the little two-day rally. That was down two standard deviations. You see what happens when it goes beyond two standard deviations? That is really negative, and that could happen with uh, you know Russell. Maybe not in our lifetime, but below uh, 2100, and Russell is going to send that thing a lot lower. So remind ourselves that these don't always work, but when they do, you got to be very, very careful because this trend is down now. How would you like to be owning, uh, you know, Amazon from 37.50? Well, if you bought it at 150, you're in great shape. But if you bought it up in there, those one of those five or six days, it doesn't make you uh, feel very warm and cushy. So that's it. Now the Google still acting, uh, still acting very good. We just made the ABCD in the. Uh, in the old S&P, folks, my uh, the old alert went off. I hit it once or twice. I heard the alarm go off. So that completes that ABCD pattern. That doesn't mean it's going to stop it. That just means that we've got an ABCD pattern. Now, let's take a look here at the Google because it continues to keep going higher, going against that gap one more time. Uh, we still have that gap there, 2650, but we're really strong today. So we're going to be able to to see uh, what's going on. Well, I heard the beep go off once at uh, 4437. So maybe it's a good beep, maybe it's a bad beep. And here we got, oh my goodness, look at this one here. This was just really going. You talk about one that is just rocking and rolling uh, that I would have really, you, sh you talk about a three drive pattern that has failed folks. This, this I'm going to put this in the record books because this is going to equal the one from Dell back in 1996. Look at this. We had a perfect ABCD time and price at 277. We stayed there for two days around that level. And where are we now? We're at 304 and with no top in sight. It's, and this is a weekly, you know, so this has been, you know, a monster chart. You know, it just keeps going higher and higher and higher. And how much higher? You know, I don't know, but, you know, maybe it's going to be the one that uh, put, the, put the thing higher. Now, why did the S&P only ring one time? When I, uh, there we go, there's what we need to see. We need to get, here's some more rings up there around that 438 level. Let's get that up here so the folks can uh, pay close attention to it. Because if this were today, it was yesterday, I would be looking to be a seller up in here is what I'd be doing. But I'm not doing that today because I am resting. Let's move on here just a little bit to get this up here to let the boys and girls take a quick look at it because this is ABCD. Uh, in its entirety, and uh, if I can just find, there we go, one second here, we'll be ready in one, two, three, four, five, and there's where we are, hold on, we'll get it right up here so everybody can see it, this is ABCD, as they say in the trade, and we'll get it up here, and there it is, and there must be some selling there, because it just keeps hitting 43.75, the high's been 438, so I better turn, I better turn, I better change the, uh, the limit minder on the darn thing so that it doesn't keep driving anybody crazy. If I were to do this trade, and I'm not, and the main reason because I am one tired puppy, plus I'm suffering from a tiny ear, ear, inner ear infection. Anyway, I would not risk more than five points on this because it's so very perfect. There, you, You've got a really strong trend against you here, but you have a perfect ABCD, and that, that's what you're looking at. And the, the AB leg was basically very, very strong also. 
You see, so that's another reason to uh, to see uh, what you're looking at right here. So we'll keep a close eye on it as we uh, always do looking at some of these things. Remember, we're going to have uh, Tim Boss as our guest on Monday, and uh, he's going to be. Uh, I chat chatted with him yesterday. And uh, he's going to be uh, quite excited to come in and show us some of the other things. He he actually said the market should top on the I believe the 16th of uh, August, and I believe the high was the 17th when we had uh, Stan Harley on. And uh, so we'll, we'll we'll whether it's going to be high or not, I don't know, boys and girls. I mean, nobody else does either. But I'm just telling you that it, it looks really interesting from these levels. That's the main thing, you know, to pay very very close attention to. One other thing that I would be watching today is I'm looking at the the artificial intelligence program that we talked about yesterday on the show how to do that and we're in an area here uh, within about uh, 20 minutes here where if this is correct uh, we should start down the last part of the day that that last part you see there is uh, the least uh, reliable of anything you do during the day because you've already gone through 260 uh, two-minute bars for the day and that means it's statistically uh, less active in the last 25%. But that's something you have to learn with uh, time. So let's move on here. And one of the questions that someone's asked about a particular stock, and I'm going to get it up here and talk to us for you, and that is the emerging markets. I haven't seen this chart and since Hector was a pup, and that dog's 13 years old. And boy, this thing has been in some serious trouble. Well, wow. let's get it up here and take a look at it. Wow, this emerging market has not been emerging. It's been submerging. Let's get this up here. And then I wanted to, we've already talked about the Hang Seng, but you'll see here that, that we're, we're almost at a major bottom here. Uh, we're at the 1.618 expansion, folks. Uh, you, this is something you might pay attention to because uh, this is a big ABCD in the emerging, in the emerging market. Uh, I'm glad somebody asked me to take a look at that because uh, that might mean the markets are going to rally just from a bottom forming. But I'll put this up here so you can you can see we're very, very close to uh, something pretty significant. We're down here. Uh, the 1.618 expansion was at 40, uh, 49. We're trading at 49.48. And um, though this is this could be very interesting. That's a very, a very interesting pattern to look at. Um, what? Uh, the some Mr. Z, what uh, and during the third, what market gave us a best interday winner? It was the Dow Jones E Mini. Uh, we sold the Dow Jones E Mini, and the first trade made 200 points. The second trade made about 600. The third trade made about a oh, 800 dollars. But we got stopped out on two of those. But they still made really good money on the first one. I had my stop placed 10 points away, if you can believe, 50 dollars. I mean, third grader wouldn't even do that. We had a good day, Mr. Z. We missed you, buddy. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. 
Your subscription to The Opening Call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for The Opening Call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We We take take it it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of The Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, I posted a chart of the euro, folks. We've been watching this for a long time. We've broken down below that coveted 170 level. Uh, it looks like we're heading down to 115 and change. That's going to be really important. The fact that we've broken out of these lows from the last year is a very, very important. That means U.S. dollar is strengthening. Yeah, that usually means that gold is weakening. Whether that's going to happen or not, I'm not sure. But the fact that it's below that level tells you that uh, every time it's rallied, it goes right back down. And there's no no uh, following as of yet, but we're watching it very, very closely. There's a big ABCD there, as you can see at that 150, uh, 1115 and change. Uh, I'm going to be covering a whole part of the foreign exchange in the weekly newsletter this week and 24-7 because uh, we've got about six major cross rates to look at, including the British pound and the, the Japanese yen along with the uh, Canadian dollar, which has been getting hit really bad lately, which we've been expecting. And then also uh, looking uh, at the um, the Swiss franc f- for the first time in a very, very long time. Not that the Swiss is a major currency anymore. It used to be, but not so much. Remember, folks, we're going to have Tim Bost as our guest on Monday. Try to get it, get in and listen to it if you can. He's got some really great information. And plus, he's having a, a little class on uh, WD GAN, and he happens to be one of the better people qualified to talk about the great master himself so we'll very very close attention to that so live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless thanks again for attending the, the show yesterday i really enjoyed it folks it's five hours of non-stop rocking and rolling but it was fun and seeing you guys picking this stuff up really makes me happy so thank you so much and we'll see you folks on monday on the flip side and do something for your neighbors folks because a lot of them are still hurting there's a lot of people out there that are not doing very well so we'll see you all on monday and may god bless